as far as riding. Um, it can produce a small ride until you hit one of those big bumps. <laughs> uh, my father was a farmer and an educator. He taught high school here in Blackstone, then got his master's and taught at Longwood College in Farmville, Virginia. That's when he got the, the bug, I guess you'd call it, for collecting. As he was collecting one vehicle, he was looking for more wheels and they found out he could find the, the carriages quicker than you find extra wheels. It was just something, a fascination that when my dad bought the first one and I got to learn to drive, no person could experience unless they're behind that rein uh, making that horse move. I was basically the one that was going following him, uh, going to the auctions with him, helping him load them, helping him clean them up. My dad's vision had, uh, had been, what will I do with these carriages? Him and my mom had decided to develop a carriage museum. The town council at that point was very instrumental in trying to help them get this established in around the year 2000. And not only did they have a dream, they put up money for the museum, they donated the carriages to the town, but before they did that, they paid to have them refurbished. And Mr. Thomas, the, the museum's namesake, his health began to decline as the museum was nearing completion. And thank goodness, in September 2007, he was able to come and stand and cut the ribbon. It was one of my first ribbon cuts as mayor, as a matter of fact, he passed three months after that. Her passion after was, was to continue that after my dad passed away to make sure this museum was open and carrying on his legacy. When I tell people we are the second largest public display of carriages, uh, there are even more shops. Two vehicles in there have family connections. Um, the Surrey with the fringe on top was used in my sister's wedding. The Hearst was used here, carried my mother to uh, the gravesite. So, you know, these have basically been things that, you know, have been continued on uh, as, as part of the family. Basically, it can boost the town's pride because of the fact that they can be proud of something that can bring people here. When I've done school tours, the children are awestruck, especially when they come in and see the horse that's hooked up. And I'd say, this is what it looks like when that horse is hooked up. And, and hearing some of the stories and, and just looking around, uh, they're amazed because it's not something they see. Something from the past, something you cannot see anywhere anymore. Unless you go into Pennsylvania or Indiana, the parts of Virginia here where you see the Old Order Mennonites and the Amish, these are too fancy for many of them. So what you're seeing is what the normal average person would have used in their lifetime. The reason people should be coming here is it's something different and something they would never see again.